These are three different types of caterpillar species that were found in our garden today, um, the first weeks of November in Florida. This, uh, the first one is a um, swallowtail, black swallowtail caterpillar. And he, uh, right here, you can see he has, uh, is a green caterpillar with black stripes and yellow dots. And they grow quite large, it's almost an inch and a half uh, in length, and he's pretty fat. Uh, if you look, he has little tiny yellow dots on those black stripes. And if I turn him upside down, you'll see how he has these little, um, like, legs coming out that are gripping. And then some smaller ones here in the front. And he is feeding right now on parsley. And this seems to be one of their favorites. Uh, when I have parsley at home, they just devour the entire bush. And there's many, actually, and many of these black swallowtails all over the parsley. And that's what you'll find on a parsley. Um, notice there's no antennae either on the front or the back of this butterfly, uh, this caterpillar. And he has the dots. He looks, at first quick glance, he looks very similar to a monarch caterpillar, which is the next caterpillar right here. This is our monarch caterpillar. And uh, he has uh, black, yellow, uh, and white stripes, where this has bright green stripes, the black swallowtail. And this one will turn into the actual monarch butterfly. And he has two little sets of antennas, uh, smaller ones on the back end and very large ones on the front end. The monarchs feed pri primarily on milkweed. And they will actually strip an entire milkweed plant right down to nothing. This is uh, a piece of milkweed leaf right here. And uh, within a few weeks, the milkweed will start to come back. Uh, it helps if you cut it down, cut it back a little bit, and then it'll start growing back. Um, but they actually devour almost the whole plant here. It's, the reason is, is they're eating these, this type of milkweed, which is non-native to Florida. And it's not as nutritious as our native uh, milkweed plants, so they need to eat more of it. That's why they actually devour that whole plant. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. This one is the orange dog caterpillar, and he has this really cool defense mechanism. And you can see he's quite, he's almost two inches long, two, two and a half inches long, and he's much bigger than the swallowtails and thicker. He has he almost appears to be like a mini snake. He has a really thick, much larger head in shape. And when he is very small, he almost appears to be like a piece of uh, bird dropping, or he almost looks like almost like um, lizard droppings. Uh, it's very small with a little uh, black-like line, worm-like line, and in the center it's white. So it appears to be almost like a bird dropping. Um, and as it gets larger, uh, it's, it's eating quite a bit of our, our leaves from our grapefruit tree, this orange dog, but he won't hurt the tree. He's just going to eat some of the leaves, and the orange trees have much more, uh, much more nutrition in them than the milkweed, the leaves, and so he doesn't eat that many. Um, I'm going to show you now the defense mechanism. When I press his head, he's going to stick out his tongue right there. And that's one of his defense mechanisms right there. And I'm going to do it again one more time. In the defense mechanism, it's always also admitting a kind of a stinky smell right there. You can see that tongue coming right out. He's mimicking a snake trying to scare away your predators, and then the stink is also scaring away, will scare away those predators too. And he's really interesting. He does have kind of a dog face. He's keeping that tongue out for quite a bit of time right now. That is really interesting. Okay, great.